Hello students, I hope you have read and revised the topics Adaptation of Animals in Water and Adaptation in Amphibians. So students, in today's class, I will teach you Adaptation in Aerial and Arboreal Animals. So students, open your book at page number 43 and let's start our reading from the topic Adaptation in Aerial Animals. Underline the word aerial animals and the definition of aerial animals is animals that spend most of their time in air. Underline the word hollow bone and write down its meaning the bones filled with space for air. Now question arises that which features help the aerial animals to fly in the air? The answer is they have hollow bones. They have wings and they also have boat shaped body that cuts the air current and help the birds to fly in the air. The examples of aerial animals are sparrow, pigeon, bulbul, crow, eagle. Adaptation in arboreal animals. Underline the words arboreal animals and the definition of arboreal animals is animals that spend most of their time on trees. The examples of arboreal animals are perching birds, monkey, ape, collar bear and flying squirrel. Perching birds have different types of claws to hold the branches of trees. Underline the word perching birds and write down its meaning a bird with feet adapted for perching as on tree branches. Underline the word claws and write down its meaning a curved pointed horny nails. Monkeys have long arms and tail for climbing and hanging on trees. So students, the function of long arms in monkeys is that they use their arms to climb on the branches of trees and they use their tail to hold the objects and to swing from branches and they also use their tail to hold the food. The examples of arboreal animals are monkey, ape, Collar bear, flying squirrel. So, students, in today's class, I have discussed with you adaptation in aerial and arboreal animals. So, read and revise the topic thoroughly and also revise cross questions. Thank you and have a nice day.